everybody, this is Osterny, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Last time I talked a whole bunch about WrestleMania, and this time I'm going to talk a little bit about something else while we do this, because um, I think that um, I think that this kind of goes um, for anyone who plays video games and everything like that. Um, particular games for me, for some reason, have always had like a... A thing of choice like an indulgence or something similar to that um, speaking of an indulgence of all time fucking G Fuel is the best goddamn thing on the planet go try some I'm not being sponsored by this I wish I was being sponsored but I am not lemonade flavor by the way awesome mmm so let's talk to the commander real quick and see what he wants us to do over here mmm mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome! Okay. We wait a long day for this to come. Nergante has been, um, such a riddle to us as the Elder Crossing itself. For years now, we and Nergante have been eyeing the same prize from opposite shores. Studying our adversary could throw wide the door to the Elder Crossing's deepest Listen mysteries. Up. I want all hunters to begin field work on near Higante. Sign up for the quest and head for the Elder's Recess. We need to know everything about our target and how it lives. I won't, er, I know you won't let me down. Okay, so... Us versus Nergigante, the Elder Dragon that feeds on Elder Dragons. That's right. Okay, so sorry about that uh, little uh, romp with the uh, G fuel, but I do feel like it's something um, to mention. Um, it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, like, with this game, I think my little indulgence is, like, especially whenever I'm playing on my own free time, of course, um, because I can't do this while I'm recording. But, um, I pretty much watched all of The Office while I was just playing casually Monster Hunter by myself. Because I had never seen it before, and it came on Comedy Central, and I was like, Oh my gosh, I would really like to see the rest of this. So I watched that. Um, another example hey, is, uh, let's see. Well, the commander, um, gave us the official go-ahead to research Nergigante. Now we're armed with new info. Nergigante is an elder dragon that fee- Yes! This is like the third time that we figured this out. Wow, and I thought I had crazy appetite. Uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, we need to know um, why Nier Higante only turns up at the Elder Crossing. Let's see, because um, to Nier Higante, the Elder Crossing is an all-you-can-eat buffet. A buffet stacked to the scales with energy stores. Thing is, Nier Higante didn't get a chance to have its main course when we lured Zora Magdrust out to sea. So, it's gone to the Elder's um, Recess to find other Elder Dragons to snack on. That would explain why all, all the other Let Elder Dragons are rolled up. Anyway, the Admiral is waiting on sight. We should join him. Okay. But, um... Ooh, let's see. A wound with a thirst. Why is it with a sword? Let's see... Nergigante's long eyed us from the far side of the Elder Crossing, but now we have a lead on his whereabouts. If we can study it, maybe we can reveal the crossings through nature. Um, I'm gonna go solo, because I believe in myself. And I'm gonna use. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely use a, um, a lucky voucher. But, um,. Like I was um, trying to mention a second ago, just another random example of a food that I really associate with um, video games. For some reason, whenever, whenever I was a kid and I played, um, this might be kind of a name drop, Dynasty Warriors um, 5 Extreme Legends. Um, the, it was uh, the first entry in 5 that allowed you to actually create your own character. For some reason, um, I had a thing of um, white chocolate chip um, just off to my side, and I just snacked on them throughout the whole thing. So um, that's um, an example of just something that I associate with a game um, that's just kind of random, just like a little indulgence. And I think um, Dynasty Warriors, I want to say 7? Um, this one was actually really interesting because um, me and a... Um, 
me and uh, one of my um, former roommates, um, we were really excited for the game to come out because, like, we heard that it was going to be a focus on a story. And for some reason, we, um... Oh. Ah, you made it. But, oh. On time, too. I like that. But yeah, um, so one of the um, things that we got um, was a one of those gigantic, like, this big fucking things of, like, um, beef ravioli, like Chef Boyardee stuff, and we just ate that as we were um, playing it. We just, like, heated up a little bit as we went through it, and we just spent, like till like six in the morning playing that game and we don't regret it either like i still don't i still think that uh seven had a really strong and awesome story um dynasty warrior seven just to clarify and yeah just random little things i don't think i've had a food that really i was so wait a minute uh -oh. are we about to go into the new area it's just random stuff like that that I sometimes think of. Oh no! Bye bye, gremlin creatures. You guys okay? What are those things, though? I'm really curious. Oh shit, he's back! Now we get to have a showdown. Uninterrupted, finally. Mirror Higante. Maybe this time we can Run, fight. Smash, full power. Run, smash, full power. You gotta, you gotta pick which one you want us to do, man. Uh oh. I came. Oh God, massively under equipped for this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just gonna go ahead and eat this steak, because I need something in the corner. Jesus. Okay. Now you're gonna get it. Okay, here we go. So I did actually play around a little bit by myself uh, last night. I was trying to uh, hunt down another uh, another Basil Geist, and I thought that would be a good way to get back into the swing of things, considering it's a monster that I want to um, earn some uh, gear off of, and it is an equally impressive monster to just try and hunt because it uses more advanced tactics than a lot of other monsters and overall it's fun to go against I don't know why I can't really describe it okay all right so we're doing pretty good right now I have to say Doing a lot better than I thought we would. Ooh. Very nice. You know, now that uh, Nur Higante isn't running away like a little bitch, um, there's not as much uh, stress to go ahead and fight him. Now, the only thing I'm really wondering is how long it's going to take for me to regret the fact that that I didn't properly prepare for this with um, a max potion in my inventory. Because I guarantee it's it's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when it's going to happen. Okay, here we go. And going up. Ooh, okay, cool. I'm gonna stab you in the head repeatedly, you bitch. Sonic the Hedgehog looking motherfucking dragon. Why is this much easier to do than I ever would have um, thought possible? Okay. It looks like I am hitting something behind me. 
could be wrong, but... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. That is fine. I was expecting to kind of get knocked out my first try. So what I am going to do is I am going to get my health back. And why does the Admiral have a... Finally, the time has come. Let's see. Better be careful. Let's see. Been all right, too. Anyway, um, you don't need a warning. So what do you say? You ready to do this? Of course you're ready. Time to move. That's all you wanted? You weren't going to help me out or anything like that? Okay. I love this about um, the um, Odegaran armor set, which um, I'm going to be keeping the majority of that for that perk specifically. Um, the ability to sharpen up my blade um, quicker. I think that's the buff that I actually get from that. I'm pretty sure it is, but um, definitely going to be keeping that. Um, the Azora Magdaros um, pieces, ironically, are going to be the ones that I actually um, swap out for basal um, guys parts for uh, the armor set specifically. Um, and I think I'll actually go for the next upgraded version of my um, inset glaive right now, which is, um, I believe it's Envy's Trident. And that was also from the Odegaron as well. But the thing is, is that in order to get that, I need in to be able to hunt a specific Elder Dragon for one part. Just one. Because, like, that's the only thing I'm missing. I have, an, like, I have the other parts and enough of the other parts to actually make the um, upgraded version of um, my Insect Glaive. Except for that one thing, which I don't really mind. I don't um, mind having to do it because um, it'll it'll probably be one hunt and then I'm done and then I will have a ideal weapon that I can probably take with me through the vast majority of the end game content. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, soaring through the air. So oh shit. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Oh, okay. So I guess we're doing pretty good so far. At least that's what I'm thinking. Oh, so now we're actually going to go into the new area. That is fine with me. Let's do this. All right, you big bitch. Let, ooh, that's a lot of crystals. That's a lot of crystals. Oh, shit! That's not cool, man. Aw, oh, dang it. Let me go ahead and get my mega potions. Okay. Come on, back up, back up, back up. Quickly. Thank you, Boots, for helping me out with that. Oh shit. Okay. Good thing I got that one uh, extra perk on. Okay. Whoop. Yes, bokeh indeed, phone. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I'm sure it is something that is not as important as what's going on right now. Alright, and boom. Unless you're telling me that, like, Asuka saw the last episode that I did and she totally wants to meet up in New Orleans. That, I would be all like, you know what, I think I may need to actually, like, take a minute and actually, um, take a look at that. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, reference from the last episode if you guys are wondering what I'm referring to. If you want to catch those awesome references, then you need to watch all the episodes in order to catch them. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 
Yeah. Why is it? Oh, jeez. Fucking your shit up, oh god. Okay, yeah, so definitely prepare yourself before your fight with this motherfucker. It will only help you in the long run. This is awesome. Oh. You're so mean. Oh! Fuck. Um. Yeah. So he decided that he was just gonna be all like, I'll cover that to bitch, and I was like, I don't want you to do that. And he was like, too bad, motherfucker. Okay. So I need... Okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. I am going to get a few extra items. Let's see. Okay, and I do have my stuff set up so that I can trap them. That's good, too. Okay, restock all that. Let's go ahead and get an Ancient Potion, because I actually have a pretty nice little surplus. I'm going to go ahead and get um, some Max Potions. And to answer the question as to why I would go ahead and get max potions, even though I have an ancient potion, which I'm obviously going to use first. Um, the answer to that is I can use a max potion instantaneously, as opposed to waiting for a, um, for a, or for a uh, mega potion. So... That is my logic for that. I basically get two free heals that don't take nearly as long. So I will take that if I can. All right, let's go ahead and find uh, Nerhagante again. He's just hiding further in the gosh giddly dang old crystal caves. Crystal caves from friggin' Banjo-Kazooie. You know what I'm saying? It's a good game. All right, good. Ah! Ooh. All right. Something tells me that if I had like an indulgent food, for Monster Hunter, it would be something along the lines of like a beef jerky or something like that. Just something that's like, I am eating your flash monster. <laughs> or something like that. Something meaty. Actually, I know what it is. It's actually this weird concoction um, that I made up. And um, it's just um, like cheese grits and fucking tuna. Really weird sounding, really probably disgusting sounding to most, but don't knock it until you try it. It is good, and it is a snack that I like whenever I need some protein in me because I work out and I demand protein. So, yeah. All right, Nerhagante regrowth plate. Okay, well, I don't necessarily know what that means, but we got a piece of Nerhagante, so I will take it. Absolutely. Let's see, I'm just checking around here to make sure that there aren't any additional pieces from them that dropped. But then again, my, um... Oh, wait a minute. There's one somewhere around here. Where? I want to... I want to have the piece.
Weird. It says that there's a piece over here and I want it. Gosh, giddly. Oh, oh wait, I got it. I got it. Dragon treasure. Shiny rock that elder dragons like to collect. Is that a clue that you're saying? Kind of weird that he doesn't really have a breath attack necessarily. Something tells me that in a certain phase he's going to shoot out those quills though that he has. I probably should have actually sharpened up my blade while I had the chance though. Probably would have been good for me. Alright. Let's go ahead and stab him repeatedly. Stab him in the back. Stab him in the back. Ah, nope. I'm gonna see if I can get your tail off. Something tells me that would be a very good thing for me to try and get off. And try and get your tail off. Oh, nope, 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 As well get that extra explosion. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Back. Whoa. Ooh, jeez. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why, well, I got the max potion. Oh, 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 God, that was fucking insane. Just pulled it out last second. Oh, jeez, that's what she said. Oh, fuck. And Boots is frozen in time. Uh, oh, well. I still actually had um, a pretty good amount of fun actually discussing things with you guys. Ooh, actually got... Huh. Got some extra rewards for doing that. And you know what, I think we'll just go with a um, round two for the next episode. It's not necessarily that this guy is hard, it's that he's as aggressive as a Odegaron, I think. But he's just a smidge bit more powerful. And I think I would have wound up winning if I just would have taken a max... Um, potion with me or ancient potion to start this whole thing off with i think that would have been um ideal but i think i'll be able to get them in the next episode but um thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and um subscribe to know when the next episode is coming out the next episode will i guarantee be the one where we actually um defeat nerhagante um even if it takes me um, a couple of extra ones, you guys will see the one that actually we uh, defeat him with. But, gosh, I want to uh, I want to go after a Devil Joe, but I want to do it by myself and on my own terms. But, um, question of the day. I was talking a lot about, like, just um, certain things that you associate with uh, certain video games um, in the outside world. Um, like, uh, various foods or shows that you may have, um, like, binge-watched in the background while, um, you actually, um, play a game. Um, is there a show that you've been wa binge watch kind of as background noise or, like, a typical go-to snack that you kind of eat while you're actually, um, playing Monster Hunter World? Like I said, I think I have a show that um, I associate with this, just The Office, because I watched the entire thing while I've been playing this casually off-camera. Um, but 
I think, um... I honestly don't know what my go-to snack would be for Monster Hunter because I haven't... Oh yeah, that's right, the cheese grits and uh, tuna thing. Just random thing. But yeah, um, and a more serious question for you guys, don't worry. In case you guys don't like my jokey question. Um, well, not really jokey, just a random question. Um, what is your favorite um, bonus ability that you can get from armors and jewels? For me, personally, I think it's honestly um, the uh, sharpening skill that I have that allows you to um, sharpen your weapon up much more quickly. Because um, if all of a sudden you want to do it in the middle of battle, it is not as taxing a thing to do. Like, you can do it because it only takes like two little uh, strokes of the whetstone in order to actually get it, if you know what I'm talking about with whetstones. Oh, yeah. But, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that I wasn't able to do it this episode, but um, at least I have a little bit more of an idea of exactly what we're dealing with. And plus, a little bit of a shorter episode for you guys to digest. So yeah, this is Tony. Signing off. Yeah!